Hi. In this video I'm going to introduce you to arithmetic operators. An example of an arithmetic operator is plus. It is a binary operator, requires two operands, could be something like this, 7 plus 4, and that evaluates to 11. Minus is another example of an arithmetic operator, 7 minus 4 is 3. Times, notice in Java, the symbol for the multiplication operator is a little star, 7 times 4 is 28. Divided, the Java symbol for division is a forward slash, 7 divided by 4 is 1. So at this point you might think she forgot the point 75, but I really mean 1. 1 like in integer division. Integer division truncates. Java is a strongly typed language. Both operands need to have the same type when the operation is executed, and the result is of that same type. So if I have two integers, two whole numbers, 7 and 4, and I divide them, my result is a whole number. It is yet another integer. Now you might argue 7 divided by 4 is 1.75, and that is really closer to 2, and we should round up, but in Java, 7 divided by 4 is 1. Integer division truncates, there is no rounding. Here is a table of the arithmetic operators, plus, minus, times divided. Notice there's a fifth one. This is modulus, it's the remainder. If I have, for example, 5 modulus 2, this is the remainder of 5 divided by 2, which would be 1. We can also use parentheses to group terms in expressions. We can have nested parentheses, so the inner parentheses are executed first, just like you would do it in an algebraic expression. And if there are multiple operators whose order is not specified per parentheses, we have to follow the operator precedence. Times divided modulus are executed first, plus minus are executed next, and then at the very end, the assignment operator is executed. If there are multiple operators of the same precedence group, we're going to execute them left to right. So let's have a look at an example. Let's look at an example. Integer n is 4 plus 2 times 3 minus 6 divided by 2 times 2. First, we're going to look at the operators with the highest precedence, which is times divided modulus. So we have three of this kind. We're starting with the leftmost one, executing 2 times 3 first, which evaluates to 6. Then we are executing 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and 3 times 2, which is 6. At this point, all of our uh, operators with the highest precedence have been executed already, we are moving on to the second level of operators, which is plus and minus. So I'm going to do the left one first. 4 plus 6, this is 10, and 10 minus 6, this is 4. And so my integer variable n gets assigned the value 4. Let's have a look at an example that includes some variables. Here I have an integer n1, it's 5, and an integer variable n2 which is 8. Integer sum is n1 plus n2. So I'm substituting the actual value for my variables, n1 and 2, and I'm uh, resulting with 5 plus 8, which is 13. So 13 is the value that is going to be assigned to my integer variable sum. Here are a few more examples. Uh, try to do them yourself. Pause the video. When you're ready, press continue. So you can see n1 times n2 is 5 times 8, and that results to 40. 40 is going to be assigned to the variable product. n2 modulus n1 
is the remainder of the division 8 divided by 5. If I divide 8 by 5, my remainder is 3. So 3 is the value assigned to my remainder. The last one is a little bit more complicated. I have a number of operators, sum plus and 2 modulus 3 times and 1. Let's break this one down. So we're doing the operators with the highest precedence first, which is modulus and multiplication. We are executing them left to right. n2 modulus 3 is 8 modulus 3. 8 divided by 3 is 2, remainder 2. So my result here is 2. The next uh, operator to be executed is my multiplication. 2 times n1, and 1 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. My next operator is from the plus minus category, so sum plus 10. My sum, we figured that out earlier before, is 13. My sum 13 plus 10 is 13 plus 10, and that is 23. So 23 is the value that is going to be assigned to my variable N3. One more challenge. I give you two variables. Integer length is 7. Integer width is 4. And I would like you to come up with an arithmetic expression that is using those variables, length and width, and some arithmetic operators to figure out the area and the parameter of a rectangle. Give yourself a moment to think it through. Pause the video. When you're ready, press continue. So here are the solutions. The area is length times width and the parameter is 2 times the sum of length plus width. Notice I was using parentheses here because otherwise my multiplication would have been executed first and this was not my intent.